I have been informed, I have been told by one of my esteemed executive committee members saying that I should not be giving a vote of thanks, but perhaps be giving some brief remarks as a concluding or conclusion of this session. So I'm taking that cue and doing that. And, but however, to begin with, I have to thank our benevolent sponsors, HSBC, SAP India, and PTC India, whose support we have been able to put together, with whose support we have been able to put together this event and gather such a distinguished group from the corporate sector. Last week in Montreux in Switzerland, the Swiss Development Corporation with the Swiss government and the United Nations had organized a meeting to design a development cooperation agenda in a post-2015 era. I was fortunate enough to be part of that meeting. This was an agenda that primarily ensures sustainable development cooperation and sustainable development for all. At this forum, it was recognized that post-2015 development agenda will have to address two central tasks, completing any unfinished business of the Millennium Development Goals with their primary focus on eradicating poverty, and which Dr. Pachori did mention about our Lighting a Billion Lives campaign, which is moving towards eradication of poverty in the rural regions, and putting the world on a more sustainable development path. The gloomy news at this event was the announcement that overseas development assistance as it's called as ODA, that the governments received in the past is diminishing, and the focus of this assistance will be on lesser development, developed economies. Hence, emerging economies such as India would need to be ready for a lesser share or nothing at all. A mix of stakeholders, government, academia, bilateral, multilateral, and civil society organizations from many countries were present at this meeting. But it was heartening to note that many of the countries repost their faith in business. It is believed that post-2015, the corporate sector will play a pivotal role in mobilizing resources which will be stable, expandable, and accountable, and thus support both social capital and value for the nation. Hence today's title, the Leadership Summit for Sustainable Development, seems quite apt and appropriate. I have to thank Mr. Peter Barker, who unfortunately could not be present with us, but uh, provided us with a message. As mentioned earlier by him, we are the Terry Business Council, a regional partner of the WBCSD for over 11 years. And this partnership is unique, as each of our member company believes in learning and sharing on this platform, which has saw this in action with the launch of the knowledge paper with Yes Bank, which is one of our member companies. Mr. Duncan von Bergen and Mr. Deepa Kamitab, thank you for the thought-provoking and information-ridden business keynotes. Uh, Mr. Deepa Kamitab, you had mentioned about Griha, which is the Terry Green Rating, Rating Integrated Habitat Assessment, which has been adopted by the Ministry of Non-Conventional Energy Sources, and yes, it is doing very well. Mr. Duncan, um, uh, you had mentioned about the development paradigm and uh, talking about air pollution and global, global energy scenario and the challenges. I uh, just wanted to inform you that we had done a very path-breaking study way back in 1995, which was presented to the nation in 1997, 50 years of Indian independence, which was called Green India 2047. Green being an acronym, growth with, growth with resource enhancement of environment and nature. That study was mind-blowing in the terms of the kind of natural resources like air, water, forest, land, soil, biodiversity that were being depleted since India had gained independence and 1997 was 50 years of Indian independence. Uh, Dr. Pachauri did mention in yesterday's meeting to the President of India that over 11% of our GDP was, our rest, rough estimate of calculation was rough 11% of GDP being lost because of the erosion of our natural resources. So now, a decade and a half from then, the study might shake us again 
um, a little more. I don't think we would be in a position to look at what would be the losses if we, don't, if we continue the way we are. So I think it was nice to have received your uh, talk as well and to understand what the corporate sector can do and has the capability to make a U-turn from where we are at the moment. Dr. Pachauri is not only a strong believer in partnering with business, but has instilled in Terry the zeal and characteristics of business, which is the ability to meet the demands of new markets. He wears several hats. He's chairman IPCC, director general Terry, and president Terry Business Council, among many others. By no means does his order of priority is in the order I mentioned. Dr. Pachauri, we thank you all for your support. And it is with your leadership and a resilient research team within Terry and the Terry Business Council, which is involving and confident of scaling new heights. As the Pankar had mentioned, we had an energetic morning meeting with our Business Council Executive Committee members. It was a meeting we had, which had an electrifying effect from, from the whole room and the design that we have developed for the business council will soon be shared with you in a couple of days and there has been a list of action that has been given by our executive committee members which we shall go forward with but before i end my vote of thanks i would like to mention our media partners sustenance ngo box and think to sustain and our unique name tag designer stiffen box you should be looking at this that we are today uh, sort of paperless uh, event. So our carbon footprint has lowered uh, in many terms. Finally, the tireless effort of the Terry BCSD team, led by Mr. Deepankar Sanyal, needs a special mention. Can I request all of you to give my colleagues a very big hand? Thank you very much.